it is Manchester United 1, Chelsea 1, Manchester United taking the lead and then dropping two points, earning one point again in this game. Another draw for Manchester United fans. I keep telling you, the draws keep coming. They just keep giving us the draws, 3.5s. But Manchester United, we just can't score for shit. We just can't score. Yes, Leicester 5-2. Hold on a minute. Didn't we score goals against Leicester? That was Leicester. Today against Chelsea, we didn't do much going forward. And you have to say, players like Alejandro Ganacho, Marcus Rashford, Bruno Fernandes, Hoyland are just not it when it comes to attacking and scoring goals because Ganacho had so many opportunities and never converted one single opportunity. He had his chances. Hoyland was inept. What's the point? What is the point? Why do we have a striker? We might as well not play with strikers because our strikers are just not good enough. When Even when Xerxes came on, still not causing the problems. Sanchez can say that he had an easy day. Apart from the penalty that he conceded, he had an easy day. He didn't need to really put sweat in. He didn't need to break anything. Manchester United, again, it's just been another game where we just have to say, oh, just have to wave this off. We, we're still on page two of the Premier League. We're 13th now. Yes, we're 13th. We're no longer 14th. We are 13th. And it's just, it's just not good enough. It's just not good enough. But what I have to say today is that we just, we just didn't create enough. It's just appalling. It's sad. It's just hard sometimes. But what can you say? At least Manchester United never lost Man United Holic. We never lost. We drew. We can hold our heads up a little bit high and then go into next week. We've, we've got the Europa League game to play. And we've got Leicester until our new manager starts. All I can say is that we could have at least got three points. You could have at least got something. At least. Should we have drawn? It, hell yes. Because the chances that we uh, we didn't really really great, and Chelsea had their opportunities. In fact, going on to the second half, latter stages, it, it was Chelsea towards the end, the last couple of minutes. Chelsea again, a goal from, of course, Bruno Fernandez, and that penalty, that penalty being caused on Rasmus Hoyland, which was a penalty, and Bruno converting it in. But why can't Manchester United hold the lead? The lead that we had never even marinated. We never even got to smell the good aroma, the spices of that goal. We conceded straight away Caicedo with a shot. And looking like Onana couldn't do anything about that. United have problems. To be able to hold the lead as well has been a problem against the big teams. Score and then concede straight away. A lot needs fixing. And would the new manager be able to fix this? I just don't know. But again... United with a point, not good enough. Players didn't do well. Rashford, poor game today throughout the whole 90 minutes. And Alejandro Garnacho just proves to me that we need better than Rashford. We need better than Garnacho. Even Hoyland as well, just not clinical enough, not able to hold up the play, not winning error dues as well, just getting bullied. For a Viking of your size, you just don't convince me that you're a Viking. You're not bullying, not dominating anyone. You've got to have Doc, Back for Fano and Cowell. Two light-skinned brothers. Two light-skinned brothers. You know what we all say about the light-skinned brothers. They're soft. You're a Viking. You should have ate them up, Hoyland. You should have ate them up like there was nothing. Radic Lothbrook is upset right now. He ain't happy with it. But yes, it was a poor, poor, poor game for Hoyland. Poor game for Bruno. Poor game for... Rashford pulled game for Bernardo. The, the front line let us down. They really did. What can we say, Manchester United Holics fans? Man United fans, it's, it's, it's going to be hard to turn this around. To turn the season around, it's going to be hard. I don't know if the new manager will be able to be, to be able to do that. Because again, I will not speak too much. I will hold my opinion, reserve my opinion, until I start seeing him in the flesh to see if anything changes. It is what it is, guys. You guys let me know what your thoughts of today's game because today has been, been abysmal. And let me know who your man of the match is because my man of the match has to go to Casemiro. Donkey of the match, I think I'm going to have to give it to Garnacho and Hoyland. Poor throughout the whole game. 
Smash that like button, guys, and share across your social media platform. Become a member of Ready Night TV. And tune in tomorrow for the catch-up, of course, at 8 p.m. UK time, where we discuss the game. Till next time, remember to keep it united, and remember to keep it Ready Night. Your boy is out. Peace.